This is our bathroom. And for the last couple of years, my wife has been suggesting that I build a freestanding set of shelves here. The sort of thing in white that you can put towels on and ornaments, and also at the bottom, somewhere that I can put a bin and sort of hide it, not that one. And I don't know what's happened, but this has now turned into some top priority. But I told my wife, I can't build around the bin without first having the bin. So now I have the bin, I've got no excuse. So I've just been having a bit of a play with some timber here and I've settled on the shelves being three quarter inch MDF. I've got plenty of this material. It's easy to work with. I'll round over the front, give a few coats of paint to keep it away from the moisture and I'm sure that'll be fine. And I've decided to use the thicker of the timber here. This is 44 mil square or two inch by two inch planed all round, which I think just gives it a slightly chunkier look and there's the right look. This inch and a half timber just reminds me of some sort of lightweight Ikea unit, which I don't really want it to, to look like. And if you can imagine, the bin is going to be sitting near enough on the floor, but the shelf just above it, I want it fairly close to hide what's in the bin. But what that does mean to, is that to put anything in the bin, I have, to, I have to slide it out. Or what I was thinking was splitting the shelf above it and putting a couple of hinges so you just like lift up a flap and put whatever you want in the bin and then put it down again. Height wise, I think it's gonna be about eye level or chin level. It just depends on, I want the, the shelves regular. So the bottom shelf that suits the bin, I'll have multiples of that, either four or five. So wherever it comes here is gonna be the height. So let's get back into the workshop, start some cutting. Oh. Oh. There is something quite satisfying about being able to cut a number of boards exactly the same. That's a great thing about a table saw. Nice. So that's all the shelves cut and notched out and the top one is just going to be a plain sort of oblong shelf that sits on the, the top. The other ones you would have seen me cut these strange shapes in the corner 
and I think I need to explain what I'm thinking. So the way this is going to connect to the upright in each corner is what I'm thinking is to do a bit of a notch in the upright and that fits into this strange shape that I've just cut and that will support each shelf one in each corner. Now that doesn't look very much of a connection there but the only thing that's going on these shelves are sort of towels and lightweight stuff so load wise I don't see that as a problem. I'm a little bit more worried about the shelves racking and just moving around because I haven't got the strength so I think this notch has to be nice and tight so it fits in there tighter than the first one that I've done here. It fits in there nice and tight. The one thing I haven't worked out yet is how to actually connect these two together. It's not as if I want to put a screw in the back. That's going to look pretty rubbish. And it's not as if I've got any fancy woodwork tools. I haven't got a biscuit joint or a domino thingy, festal, whatever. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to connect those. Maybe I can put a dowel in, half into this and half into that, if I can line the thing up. But at the moment, that's sort of the missing link. I start by firstly trimming a new square end to each upright and then cutting them to length which has just worked out to be 1.4 meters. I round over the front outside corner of the front two just to get rid of the sharp corner and then lay them out exactly lined up so I can mark all of them from one end as accurately as I can. While I'm doing this I realise that there's two positions that I mustn't notch out so I use some tape just to stop me from cutting those and making a mistake. Because I now need to cut the legs sitting at 45 degrees I make a holder that I can sit them in safely and cut them on the mitre saw. The process of getting a tight fit here is definitely by trial and error, but completely possible if you take your time. This took me around about an hour to cut 14 tight fit notches. Well, I'm glad that's over. So that's the first dry assembly and I'm really pleased with that. It's gone together nicely. All the notches are fairly tight so once you put them all together it doesn't really want to go anywhere. And it's looking like I hoped as well. I'm glad I put this tape on these ones so I didn't cut them 
because that would have been a mistake. I've tried the bin and the bin fits, which is a bit of luck. The only thing I would say is that there's opportunity for the bin to go wherever it wants to. So what I'm gonna do is put a couple of hanging rails in here so it's got no opportunity to spin at all. And I'll put a stop at the back so it stops in the right position. That means it's gonna be centered and looking straight which will keep me happy for the next couple of years as well. Now, I was thinking about putting dowels on the connection between the uprights and the shelves, but I must admit it's so tight because I've made these notches nice and tight. that I think once I've glued the thing up, whether it's got a dowel in there or not, it's not gonna make any difference. There's plenty of MDF timber connection there with a bit of glue on it. I don't think it's going anywhere. The one thing I do wanna still do is to cut this shelf in half and put a couple of concealed hinges in. So when I put something in the bin, rather than pulling the bin out and putting it in, I've got like a, a flap here that I can open, maybe make a 100 mil gap and throw it in that way. And if I put some towels on there, then no one's even gonna see the, the, the joint. And that's why I put these tapes on and made sure that I didn't notch these out, which I think was a really good idea because if I hadn't put that tape on, I would have gone wrong there. Right, better get on, put these hinges in. These hinges I bought from Amazon, and I'll put a link in the description below, and they're just narrow enough to fit into the edge of a three quarter inch MDF or ply sheet without showing anything when shut. So perfect for this situation. I cut my shelf in half and mark out where I want the hinges and therefore where I'm gonna route. During this, the one thing I did find with my new router fence is when it's got a sheet like this blocking the extractor hole, the suction is so good that it actually makes it difficult to slide the piece along. Not impossible, just tricky. Having said that, at least it's well referenced from the face. Before priming, I mask off all of the areas on the MDF that I want to get a good glued connection to.
checking it for square or plumb against my workbench, I may be one millimeter out over a meter, which is good enough for me. The top shelf simply sits on the top and is screwed in from above and the holes filled. And then I fit the guides and the stop for the bin, which won't really be seen. With the glue cured, I can now touch up the areas that I overmasked and give the whole unit another coat of paint. So there you go, complete painted, paint has dried and in position and I think looking rather nice. I'm really happy with the joints and that comes from having a mitre saw that's set up properly and making sure all your measurements are as accurate as possible. And I really love this way that I can still see the grain of the timber although it's properly painted. And I think it's quite nice to be able to have a bin that isn't just on view as well. So I'm really happy with that. It's come out better than I expected actually. And when I try to rock it, it's not going anywhere. It's probably twice as strong as it needs to be. So not putting those dowels in. Looks like I managed to get away with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember you can follow us and support us on Patreon. There's a link below and I will see you next time. What's next on the list?